Hey, this is Chad with Monday Scientific, and today we're going to answer a couple questions about adding a camera to your Olympus BX scope. So most of the configurations are going to have a tilt head like this, and this is a great, great scope, great configuration. But um, if you want to add a camera, there's a couple of ways you can do it, and we get this question a lot. So uh, Mike's going to come in, we're going to show you a couple of ways. So first, you got to have a camera adapter and a camera. So the camera adapter screws into the camera. All right, very simple. On the Olympus adapters, you have a focus and a lock. We'll go over that a little bit later, but you have to back this lock screw off to work this focus. And then we'll show you how that works and why you need that here shortly. You can change out, Mike, show this right here. You can change this tilting head for a trinocular head. So the trinocular head has three positions. All the way in goes all the light to the eyepieces. When it's split, part of the light goes to the eyepieces, part goes to the camera. And when it's out, 100% goes to the camera. There's a nice little click stop, so it clicks into the place where it's supposed to be, like that. So you can change the heads out by using your handy three millimeter Allen tool right here. And you can add the trinocular head. So once you add this head or change it out, you would just move your eyepieces over like that. And then you would add the camera adapter. Can you see it, Mike? Mm -hmm. Just like that. Then you would plug your camera into your your computer system and you would be ready to go. So we're gonna, we have another video on this, but we're gonna go over it real quick. So what this is used for is when you bring the specimen into focus through the eyepieces, sometimes what you see on the camera doesn't match what you see through the eyepieces. So the easy way to fix that is to bring the scope into focus by looking through the eyepieces, bring your camera image up on your screen, and then back this lock off and rotate this while looking at the screen and it'll change the focus on the screen. You'll be able to see when it brings into focus. Then once it's there, you lock it back in and then your camera will be par focal with your eyepieces. All right, so we're gonna just keep on moving along. There's another way. I like this trinocular head, but you kind of lose some ergonomics. It can be uncomfortable if you're um, not exactly the right height. You don't have a lifting desk, so forth and so on. So another way that I really like to do it is to use this U true port. So U-TRU. And these are awesome because you get to keep all of your ergonomics. And it'll work with every head that Olympus makes. Or most. There's one head, I think it's the U-T-T-L-B-I, the tilting lifting binocular head, and it won't work with that one. You have to use the one we're gonna show you next. So you put the eyepieces in, and the same thing. You put your camera adapter in here, and then you lock it in with the single screw. Same process. So there's um there's also a U true S port. I'm gonna step away and grab that real quick. This is a cool port. Um, notice the difference between the U true. This one comes straight out the back. So we add a little riser to that one. And we'll show you why we do that. Let's take this apart real quick. So we put this little simple riser here on the bottom and it gives you a little extra height. So if you're a little taller, that might be the way to go. And then a lot of these cameras with that riser, you won't be able to go along the top of the scope because they'll hit this one because of that riser, you can go straight out the back for a nice clean look. And then you would just put the head on just like that, just like we did on the previous video or the previous head. So we'll take that off. Um, these U-True ports can be turned 
to either side. If you don't want to go straight out of the back, you can go, you can turn it and it'll work just the same. Pull this pull rod, you send light to the camera. The reason that you might have to turn the U-True or the U-True S to the side, let's just use an example like this. Let's put the U-True on and I'll show you why you might have to turn it to the side. So a lot of, a lot of, um, of these BX scopes has the UTTBI head. It's the, yeah, Scott's gonna grab one real quick and we'll show you the example. Always in the right place at the right time. Scott Monday. Mike, show Scott real quick. He's leaving for the day. He's getting out of here. Peace out. <laughs> so the reason that you would do that is because of, we'll show you. So you lock this down and then your camera can set over here, which is really nice. The reason that you wouldn't be able to, let's see here. The reason you have to do it this way is because of this head sticks out so far in the back, there's no way that you can keep it straight. See, it won't go. So like if you, Mike's got a good angle on it right now. So if you tried to put this head and turn it back, see, it's too long. So you have to go out to the left or right side. So that's uh, most of the, the heads that we offer or that you can find here um, for the Olympus BX scopes and how you can add a camera. So uh, hopefully we covered the scope and camera that you have, but, um, if we didn't, you can always email us at info at mondaymicroscope.com. You can find all of these parts, the heads, the camera adapters, the camera, the YouTube ports, trinocular head. You can find all that at microscopemarketplace.com. And uh, if this video brought you value, please like and subscribe.